What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Problem 16 in the Fundamentals of Physics Textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 2 is all about motion along a straight line. And in Problem 16, we're talking about an electron moving horizontally. We're given the position equation, and we're asked to find how far the particle is from the origin when it comes to a stop. We know that the velocity, um, which is equal to the change in position over time, is equal to zero. Because it's momentarily stopping, so the velocity will be equal to zero. And we are told that the position equation is 16t e to the negative t. And so we need to find dx dt, or the derivative of this with respect to t. And you may be looking at this kind of like, how do I take the derivative of that? And you're going to need to use product rule. So if you have not learned product rule, it would probably be a good idea to look that up before you finish this video. And so we want to do dx dt is equal to, it's going to be the first here, so 16t, times the derivative of this second piece, which is going to be uh, negative e to the negative t, plus the second e to the negative t times the derivative of the first, which is going to be 16. And that has to equal zero. So let's kind of clean this up a little bit, and we can say this is equal to negative 16t e to the negative t plus 16 e to the negative t, and that equals zero. And we can see that we have a 16 e to the negative t in both, so we can factor that out. And we can say 16 e to the negative t times, and when you take that out of this, you're going to get a negative t. And if you take it out of this, you're going to get 1. So we have a plus 1, and that equals 0. And then I just want to rearrange this so this looks a little nicer. And I'll say 16 e to the negative t times 1 minus t is equal to 0. And as you can see, in order to make this 0, t has to equal 1, so then this will be 0. And when you multiply 0 times this, that'll be 0. So v equals 0 at t equals 1. We're asked to find how far from the origin this particle is at t equals 1. And this is our position equation. So we just plug 1 into there, so we can say x is equal to six, 16 times 1 e to the negative 1. And if we rewrite this, we can rewrite this as 16 over e. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 5.9 meters from the origin. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.